Hello friends, let's learn about the if logic in unit 6 as a part of our design studio part 2 course. So in this in this video we will learn about the if logic means how this can be used in and what is the use of this and what are the main uh, means syntax uh, of, of if logic. Okay, so what is if function and how we can execute it to group the data. So if function in web intelligence to group the values written by an object into categories. So it is it is used for grouping the data into a categories. These categories can be then used as the basis for aggregating measures at higher levels. So let's see the syntax. Syntax is if boolean expression, this will be a condition means whatever we wanted to check and then uh, the result of that condition will be with, if that condition is true, then this is the value of true we can use and it is the if the condition is false then this is the part which we uh, can use that is expression that returns true or false value of true is the value written if the expression returns true and value of false is the value written if the expression returns false so for example if this is if quarter in list q1 and q2 so q1 q2 is the quarter is this is the one condition uh, in the first part so if it if this is true then assign the value as es first half if that if this condition is false like the quarter is in q3 and q4 then it is es second half so this is a use of um, e, e function to group the data into categories so es first half and uh, second half is uh, we can say as a categories based on the condition we can group now executing the if function to modify calculation behavior means we need to understand means how the calculation behavior we can change by using the if function so the if function is useful in extending the functionality and flexibility of calculations in report so that they behave more dynamically that means we can change the values dynamically based on the if conditions like suppose if object name is equal to true value then major behavior major it will be a numerical value and it, it we can specify behavior of that particular major or else major for behavior b so the same can we we can use instead of this semicolon we can use this then operator then and else so if then else is the syntax we can use uh, instead of semicolon so both the both serves the same purpose now c means what is the uh, how we can change the calculation behavior so this is the condition if state is equal to california so this is the boolean expression if this is true then sales revenue into 1.05 so this is the calculation means this whatever the sales revenue is we are just multiplying by it with 1.05 value so this will change the sales revenue value dynamically in the report if the state is colorado then it will multiply by 1.1 to the sales revenue and if the state is in list of this all these states then uh, the calculation means sales revenue will be multiplied by 1.15 and if this state is equal to this then it will multiply sales revenue with 1.18 okay or if you see this is then part of this same we instead of this semicolon wherever the semicolon has been used we can use a then and else if then and else if so it's just a syntax means whatever the syntax you are you used to that you can use it no matter means the functionality will be behave uh, same like means whatever the conditions there so it is just a matter of semicolon and uh, then l save okay what are the con consideration while using if so the first consideration is when you list a single state you place equal to sign that is equal to means whenever we just have one single value to check we will place equal to while there are if there are multiple values then we will use in list operator 
the syntax requires that when multiple values are listed all the values must appear in the parentheses so whenever we are using in list we should use parentheses same like this if we are using in list this will come in as this brackets separated by semicolons and if it is just single value then we are using equal to operator okay and the each individual value must be in a quotes as well as separated from the other values by semicolon that said means this values whatever the values we are putting means it should be placed in the quotes double quotes and that should be separated by the semicolon okay so this is the consideration and what is uh, this is the usefulness of the if logic so let's see means what you have understood means for what purpose we if is used in web intelligence this is the first question and then the the if function defines variable so that the calculation used depends on the value retrieved by the object specified in the formula of the variable whether this is true or false let's see an answers so for what purpose the purpose of if is to group the values written by an object into categories while well, uh, aggregate measures at higher levels and this 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 is true that the calculation used depends on the value retrieved by the object specified in the formula of the variable so we came to an end of this uh, unit i hope you have understood this if if you have any questions uh, please uh, post it in a comment section i will happy to answer it if you like my video then please like it and if you uh, please subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching